Hello, guides and goddesses. Welcome. It's time for a little select the deck. Question was asked. Thought it would be good to make a full video. Um, so the question is, what is the ex up to? What is your ex up to? Why they're your ex? Uh, confirmation reading. Um, and it does, I do want it to, I'm intending it to focus more on um, why it's good you've moved on, what you might have escaped from, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just a thumbs up from the cosmos, if you will. And I will include six. So please select the deck and we will see what kind of little picture story is here just to let you know that you're doing good um, if you're going through healing or you're just nosy. <laughs> maybe you're curious, maybe you're wondering. Um, and for whoever just really needs a pat on the shoulder. Hey, buddy. Good job. Six, would you like to get us started? Um, general energy. Oh, general energy for the exes. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> One more. Get out of my car now! Okay. All right. That sounds like a good start. So select a deck. And we will begin. Whichever deck looks catches your attention. Let's go with deck one. I feel like this is deck one. Hmm. Okay. I will come back on that later. All right. Now let's see what kind of, if you chose this deck, let's just see the energy. What kind of person was this person when you guys split? Ooh. Okay, they might have uh, cheated. They might have been uh, a little too open to other things. They had some lessons to learn, to say the least. You might have been blocking that. And they were blocking your healing. Through the connection with them, you might have become a whole different person. They might have, um, yeah, the thirsty energy. Very intense energy. Could have been a Gemini. Or Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And I'm not saying Geminis are like that. I'm not saying that, but... It's like uh, the Geminis are twins. So that person could have acted one way publicly, but behind closed doors, it could have been someone else. Someone who thought a lot and presented a false image publicly. Mm, very egotistical. They may have led with, um, never mind, I won't go that far. Let's just see. <laughs> Gemini Sagittarius energy. Very intellectual, a little bit. Okay, the word that's coming through now is psychopath. Jeez. Why is that word coming through? Why is psychopath coming? What? Uh, okay, so your, your connection with them might have boosted their ego in the beginning, but you might have saw through the phoniness at some point and realized that there was more to the act, the way they were portraying themselves or how they sold themselves 
as a dream to you. Okay, let's see what they are going through now. That makes it so good that you ain't there. I hear an old song, all I need is a miracle. All I need is you. Somebody might be realizing or having thoughts um, about better times, uh, better financial situations, and maybe going through something um, financial. Or there's something they were working on that didn't work out as planned. Ooh. I'm just going to call you number ones. I'm not going to call you deck one people, okay? Number ones. Look, your ex has some issues, some a little clingathon of personal chaos they have to deal with because of things that keep failing. There's some risky addiction that they deal with that is blocking their ability to go forward. It's something they're masking. Ooh, what's death come out? Whatever this addiction is, it's it's um it is kind of a death to the path. Like if they had plans to do this, this, this and that that's not going to happen because this interference and there's the wheel it almost drives their path and has become the most valuable thing in their life. Others are starting to take notice though. Others are curious if there's some way to intervene, do something, or they're all coming, others are coming to the realization that something uh, chemical is going on. That maybe they may be saying things that sound uh, like they're absent of a counseling. Okay, tell me about who's leaving. Oh. Somebody who was close to him, fought for him, could be someone they were in a relationship with. I don't, I'm asking and I don't necessarily see a relationship, but I do see a connection. Someone very close to him is getting the fuck away from him. Someone that he might have cherished the connection with, valued the connection with. Interesting. Hmm. Somebody doesn't think that that situation being around, it, oh, it's not safe, it's expensive. There may be very heated conversations, arguments, somebody who doesn't speak respectfully and somebody's moving out the way before they start or before they endure more problems. Interesting, somebody's uh, moving to a place where they're more secure, doing what's right for themselves. 
Interesting. Clarify. Whoever they're dealing with, that they're that's getting the fuck away from them. Whoever they're dealing with is talking to other people about this person's your ex's problem. And okay. So maybe, I mean, I don't know if you're still connecting anyway, but so oh, some kind of way. You you might be hearing about this. It sounds like talking to other people, um, letting other people know why they're getting the fuck away. If your ex was involved with somebody, it, the relationship it, is at a point where I don't see any sensuality or love. It feels like somebody who might have had your ex's back at one point might have been a good person, but then the relationship became too expensive. And this could be a mother figure. Somebody who had to cut this, cut your ex out. And perhaps even leave, if there were children, leave with them. Interesting. Oh, wrong deck. Let's go with the emotions. So how is the ex feeling overall at this time? What's his energy towards others like? Ooh, quiet storm. Okay. They, they have an error in the way they think. This person went mental crazy. Like they're, in, they're stuck in a time warp, time block. They may be low on energy, low on actions. Very egotistical though, Leo energy here. There's a situation they're stuck in that's making them very frustrated. It's like obligations they can't get out of. And it's, it's very upsetting. And it goes from like karma to it, it's like it's having to deal with something. It's having it's it's a situation that you have to deal with. It's like, oh, what is this? It's a situation that has to be dealt with. It's the karma um, or the sum of choices can be financial balances too, but it's getting things in balance because you have no choice. Like it's it's beyond your hands at this point. Right, all or nothing. So says the group because of the choice somebody made. Okay, so this could be some type of, it could be even court order, like maybe there's kids or some type of payments that your ex has to pay out to somebody who is getting the fuck away or has gone. Can be things like alimony, but there's payments that have to be made. There's debt that has to be dealt with. Why does block? Quiet storm keeps coming back. It's whatever the whatever the debt is or the the cling the oh my god. I don't know what genetic structure has to do with anything, so this could be children, but I hear the genetic structure changes changing. The genetic structure. I'm sorry, I'm confused on that. What is that? People, because, be okay, we, I feel like it's dependence. 
because the dependence has changed, Dependents have changed. So your ex is going through something like, like they have to give in. And it's not something they can kick and stop about, but they are on the inside. Oh, man. And that choice, the choice is like something they are, they like, may lose sleep over, it burns their soul. It's, it's you know what, I should bring in six. <laughs> hey, Six, what's the general energy of the one that is um, going through all this? <laughs> X-Files? <laughs> Anything else? Oh, one more. <laughs> feeling very childish, feeling very told what to do. New world, uh, not used to being told what to do, perhaps, or not being made to do certain things. One more. Uh, no. Resistant? One more. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay. Okay, so there is childish behavior going on. Next lesson. Coming next for them is a test. Another wait, what? Another, oh, another test. Y'all, okay, what are you, okay, one, one, is it possible you got an ex that has multiple obligations or they're waiting to find out if there's multiplicity in the dependence and codependence department? Oh my goodness. They're waiting to see if someone's going to have more control over their wallet. This may be somebody with multiple, ch I mean, I see it, it, an example, let me be nice, okay. An example in this reading would be someone who's waiting to find out if children are theirs, paternity, DNA results, um, or they haven't even been told that there's a, a something in the oven. Uh, but that's that's there's two tests secrets around somebody who just wanted to fuck, or somebody who wasn't thinking long term. And okay, now I hear Fleetwood Mac. The song is the chain. Nice song. You should listen to it. I hear the chorus. If you don't love me now, you'll never love me again. I can still hear you say you would never break the chain. Mm, excuse me. That was the message. <laughs> that was the message. Somebody. Ooh. Somebody's ex is going through it, but they put them, they literally put themselves in that mess. Literally. Moving on. Okay. Did you select deck two? I'm going to take this one as deck two. And six, would you please tell us what's going on with the X's uh, for anyone who picked 
number two. I'll have two number Oh, a number six with extra tip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a hard soap. Lord, fair enough. <laughs> Anything else? Mm, all right. One more. Rise and shine. Oh, interesting. One more. All right, then keep your secret. General energy. Oh, did you guys see it just went out? What? Okay, general energy. You underestimate my power. Oh, come on. Now you really got to clarify that. What? One more. Yeah, it's rewind time. Okay. I can stop there. Rewind time. Let's see what your ex is um, going through. Experiencing. Well, there's secrets, okay. Someone's ex might be going through a bad friendship. And it might be one of those connections where they find out more about themselves or things about themselves that no one's ever said to them before. Mm. Okay, peace of my mind. But I do hear Janice Joplin. A uh, peace of my heart. Okay, so somebody's ex has recently been dumped. <laughs> dumped, ghosted, abandoned, ignored. Um, why? There's the friend zone. Because someone was playing games. And somebody f was coming off like a player. Not a mature one either. They may have even expressed, oh, oh, okay, what else? Okay, so here's what happened. Shit fell apart because they couldn't stop talking about their ex. Who could that be? I don't know. <laughs> they couldn't stop talking about their ex. Those of you who picked that too, I'm calling you two, okay? Just two. So, two. <laughs> you must have been the shiz niddle. Biddle, biddle, bam. Okay? You couldn't stop talking about you. Wow, no way. So they were, they were talking in a way that made the other, the new person in their life question their wellness. And so they were over it. And they may have even tried to say they were over their ex, whoever, whoever that is too. <laughs> I don't know who the ex is that they can't stop talking about. I don't want to say it's you because I don't like to point fingers like that. <laughs> They're bad focus. Look, look, focus, 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 focus. <laughs> God damn. 
and I wouldn't stop doing it. Like it ate into the time. Wow. So what I heard is somebody talking but not hearing themselves. Hmm. Oh, I'm done. So because they have not moved on and, you know, ready for the new world, they kind of make somebody turn sour. And it's it's a sour that feels like there was some communication um, or there will be communication about why shit ain't working and why they are a wood killer. Whether that's the feminine wood or the masculine wood, okay? Interesting. It's like um, someone's ex doesn't realize they have not evolved. They're kind of like stuck in a visual time warp. Wait a minute. They're stuck in a visual time warp where they're kind of making up shit. Um, they may be adding their feelings to the situation. Whatever. Listen. <laughs> Somebody's past ex who chose deck two. I ain't pointing no finger. Somebody's ex. They can't stop talking about you. Ooh. Why look? Okay, I'm gonna shuffle again. I'm putting those back. Sorry, I can't do hard shuffles. My wrist is hurting. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know how much further I go in this. Somebody's ex is just a bundle of emotions um, to the point where they, it's a turn off to anyone trying to, who would consider getting close to them. They're still very emotional about the connection. Let's see. Double clarify. Mm. They're using this creator energy, this feeling energy as a wall. It's a wall, but then if you climb the wall, it would become, it would turn into like one of those amusement park water slides, but not the cool ones that go side to side and round and cool circles and stuff. This one just goes straight down, <laughs> which probably is, it fizzles out quickly. If you could imagine like going to a water park, right? And there's cool slides, but then, you know, there's that one that's just like, maybe it goes up like four or five feet and then it's just straight down. You're like, is that for the kiddie pool? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Lame. You probably wouldn't even like, once you realized what it was and that there's like no magical floor or waterfall, nothing. It's just a straight slide down into nothing. That's, yeah, you you probably would go to the other water slides, right? I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> okay, what's their next? I'm curious for the sad one.
What's the next learning event they have coming? Learning and love. Oh, wow. Well, a new form of isolation and sadness. Ooh. They may go to, into a bit of a spiral. Um, what I heard is antimatter. Very emotional. Almost to the point of like, I just heard blowing up. Like they could be e easily provoked into being argumentative. Yeah, they miss a few too in the love department. Literally anyone that's coming towards them in love, they whatever's coming out of their mouths makes people go in the opposite direction. Whatever they're saying, people just fall right out of love. God damn. And they sound like Jesus. Somebody's ex is really going through it, okay? They are just... Uh, they are going through it. It is like a fuck the world. Uh, hate women. Uh, okay, I just heard. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Let's just say they've got the energy at this point where if there were a group of other men who didn't like women or a group of other women who didn't like men, they would join that. They would, it's it's that kind of energy. They would join and they would hold signs that rotated, right? And they would, they would be mad, okay? <laughs> so right now they're in pushback, anti-matter mode. Anti-matter. Figure it out however you got to. That's interesting. Uh, let's see if six has any closing data for them. Uh, okay, for those who picked two, six, any closing info on those exes and their current situations and feelings? Oh, oh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Ooh. Okay, what I heard is hurt people hurt people. So somebody's ex is in that mode right now. Anything else? Fatality. Right. Oh, that's, that's, they, they're cutting their own people, like any, okay, they're cutting their own things out. There's, what's the word? Self-sabotage. Anything else? I'm not going to try to figure that one out. If that means anything to you guys, it does. One more, please. Oh, no, I'm not brave enough for politics. Damn, now they have, like, some type of emotional issues with getting out there and, okay. Dang. One more. Are you challenging me? Yeah, somebody's just going through an emotional... Ooh, that's not even, like, somebody need a hug type data. That's... That's a little bit of therapy and some, uh, I don't know if I need to go as far as meds, but like uh, some, 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 someone to talk to, you know, someone logical and balanced, emphasis on the balanced part, but energy they got to work through. All right. Did you select three? I feel like we need to start with six. Six for those who chose deck three. What is the vibe of their ex at this point? You're the last one. Complete the mission. Oh. 
What? One more. Enemy spotted. Damn. One more. <phone rings> Message. One more. Screaming will not help anyone. What's the screaming about? I know the power of patriarchy. Oh, boy. I know what men can do when they're angry. Oh, Lord. I'll put that down. Okay. Let's see what's going on. In the world of your ex threes, deck three. Change of events. I feel like somebody's getting thrown out. Perhaps, yeah, okay. Perhaps trying to negotiate the space around them. I don't even know if you can see that very well, but. So we've got some news. Can be, um, Change of situation, turn of events, feels like a conversation, and then out the door you go. Feels like two people who can't get along with each other. Now, I don't know if that's love or roommate. Their living situation. Okay, deck three. Somebody's ex is trying to lay up on other people. They may be playing um, help me types of games with others. Mm. Feels like bad situations, fights. Somebody making somebody carry too much of a weight. Uh, it can be a heavy imbalance in a connection with others. Somebody doing more than the others doing. Somebody having to be 10 different people all day already. Get a little bit of user gigolo energy. So right now their plan is to get the attention and lust of the next. The only word I can use is provider. The next person they can pin down. the next person who will m mother and protect them. Mother or father protect them. And not judge them. So right now they're on what I, okay. I don't know how that applies. What I heard right is right now they're on an indecent hunt. An indecent hunt? Okay. So they may be looking, but there may be just a bitterness to their energy. Because they don't want to go through this again.
And it's like somebody being, ah, okay, well, what's coming out of my mouth was somebody's ex might be too lazy to take care of themselves. So maybe looking for others to contribute in some way or another or a replacement or the next person that they're going to leech off of. I feel like there's two stories here. Hold on. What is the next X dealing with? Jeez. Life beyond someone's control, okay? Somebody's ex is, yeah, okay. If you chose deck three, I'm sorry. Your exes are all going through some really wild shit. Endings, closings of things, people being done with them, relationships coming to an end. Some, let's share it. Somebody might have been cheating and it's, and it's ending. Somebody might have gotten cheated on and they might not even know it. Somebody might be trying to control a relationship. Someone's ex may be trying to control a relationship. This can be somebody who's like, I don't want to use the word narcissistic, but there might just be a cheater. They might be a bit piggish, very self-centered, egotistical, think they're better than everyone else, not responsible, blinded by the mirror they must carry in front of themselves all day. They use their emotions to reason, or they they use their emotions in place and substitute for the logic. Very fake all or nothing. Wow. Fake all or nothing energy. Um and that's costing them all or nothing. The world and death. Running out of time. What does running out of time tell us about that? Furniture. God damn. Running out of time. Okay. So if you chose deck three, your ex is being next by whoever they're with. They're getting booted. Forgotten about, ghosted. Left alone, abandoned. They ain't happy about that. Nope. <laughs> somebody's, they may be, listen, somebody's ex may be showing that face, but they're hiding this. So they may be putting on a front while the, whatever's going on around them is no good. Things are coming to an end. And that is a, there, there was a greed aspect to whatever they, whoever they were with. So the money go bye-bye and their value went bye-bye. Okay. Oh yeah, their value go bye-bye. Their person, whoever they were with, went away or is on to new things, seeking what is higher, better, bigger, wider, whatever. I don't know. Seeking balance. Okay, that's a nicer way. That's a nicer way to say it. And they ain't thinking shit about it.
Ne? But they do know they don't want to repeat that cycle with your ex, whoever this is, um, that's getting away from your ex at this time. They got the lesson too, or they're in the middle of it. It's not, it doesn't look like it's completely over yet, but it looks like it's in the process of screeching to a halt. It's like the, I get the energy of someone who cannot wait until they are in this position where they can relax, be in their own space, tired of stressing the mind, perhaps not knowing what's coming next or what's going on behind their back, having to protect themselves. And look, they want they want the connection to be fucking done. Ooh, would kill. Would kill. Uh, whoever your ex is dealing with that's getting the fuck away, chewing their arms and legs off to get out of the cage, whatever this is, uh, they're going to be fixed energy for a little while. There is some, yeah, there's some emotional things going on. Right. There's going to be some emotional things going on and giving to a next relationship is going to be awkward. So listen, if you deck three and you, you want some higher data, higher level, higher thinking, say a little prayer, you know, say a little prayer for that person. Even if I don't know what the connection is, hopefully there is no connection for you with your ex's person that's trying to escape. Say a little prayer because they had to go through what you went through. Mm -hmm. They had to go through what you went through and it's going to be difficult for them to get the love they were really seeking or um, it's just going to be difficult for them to love again. They're going to have this baggage that's going to make it difficult for them to communicate or they're going to be combative or very guarded. Yeah, guarded. Mm. Guarded and probably lumping everybody into the same category. Or just flat out on some hater shit and sticking to themselves for a while. Whoever they're letting go of, though, I do feel like there is love around them. So I don't know if they're being cheated on and they're going from one relationship to the next. I'm not looking that far. But whatever they're, as they get away from your ex, there is like a, a hateful damage. that they may not tell who, whoever else they're dealing with. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna be in thinking everybody's playing games. And they go into cocoon stage where they are chained to their beliefs and feelings over what they see. So they're, whoever your ex is, He's dealing with that's on their way out, breaking this connection, breaking the connection with your ex. Uh, they they going away with some scars, a little, you know, you know, nothing gigantic, I don't think, but being being made an option is the energy I see here. Somebody coming and going, or controlling the narrative or the direction of the connection. And not being honest about it. Sleepwalking energy. But I get the energy of an ex, your ex, three. Your ex might have thought that there wasn't anything to maintain in the relationship or something. 
like it maybe didn't occur to them that they were damaging connection, the connection. But that could be pride and ego. And thinking they don't have to put in effort, that type of energy. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Hey, Six, any closing messages for those who chose Deck 3? I, I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I think you video games. Because this is what it does. It appeals to, like the male fantasy. Games. Okay. That did come out. All right. Anything else? Just like the simulation. <laughs> Yeah, some, you're, you might have an ex that might have treated relationships like they weren't even real. What? Okay, one more. And they're a loser. <laughs> one more. Rise and shine. Aww. I don't know if your ex is going to wake up in this lifetime, but maybe they get the opportunity to try and do that. There's that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that very much. And I'll see you guys later. Remember why that's your ex? Okay. And be grateful. You are well. See you next time.